Hello, everyone. My name is Jim McCarran. I'm a candidate for the City Council of Tawnytown, and I suspect many of you know me already. If you're new to Tawnytown, welcome and thank you for choosing this wonderful town as your home. I'm a local businessman. I operate a mortgage branch for Mutual of Omaha. I'm located on the downtown square right next to City Hall. I've lived in Tawnytown for over 40 years, and along with my wife, Myra, have raised our family. I mentioned that unless you have newly arrived in Tawnytown, you may recognize my name as your former mayor. Prior to being mayor, I served as mayor pro tem and member of the city council. I'm currently a member of the board of zoning appeals. All this began back in 1985. I've been a very active member of our community for all these years, not only with the city, but with my church, St. Joseph's, Tawnytown History Museum, and various other organizations throughout the city, county, and state. You may wonder why, with this long history of service, am I seeking election to the city council? You know, that's a question I ask myself before deciding to run. I've invested a lot of time in serving our citizens, and the reward of this service, of helping our city grow and helping solve the problems of growth, have been satisfying beyond measure. The last four years, I've been away from elected office, and quite frankly, I miss it. There's something about being able to keep my finger on the pulse of this dynamic city. Well, why not run for mayor? I've had many citizens encourage me to file. I suppose that would be a logical assumption, but really I thought I'd retired from public life and was content to let others steer the ship. As the deadline for filing for election approached and I considered the coming election, I realized that this election presented a unique situation. We have three candidates for mayor. Our current city council is in a state of flux, partly due to the election of our own Joe Vigliotti to the county commission and the resignation of a council member due to relocation. It only became obvious that the city could be in a very precarious situation if new and experienced council members were elected, coupled with the possibility of a new mayor, also with little government or life experience. The city may face some very difficult challenges. The seat on the county council that I seek will be important to ensure that we stay on the right track in the years to come. I've been for 30 year, eight years of unbroken city service, and my institutional memory alone will prove an invaluable asset to whoever is elected. And with the support of other members of the council, we can maintain, uh, make sure our city maintains, head, remains headed in the right direction. Tawny Town has grown considerably since my first days on council. I know there's a current concern that some that growth is out of hand. And that's a concern of mine too, but one thing I've learned over my years in office that some growth is necessary. The key to that growth must be planned. To stop growth entirely would be met detrimental for the city and her citizens. I've witnessed other towns who have halted growth only to be hemmed in by sprawl. And when this happens, it's too late. Development around the city borders will occur whether it's within the city limits or not. The difference is, if it's within the city, we're in charge of what happens. The answer is growth that is both planned and measured. We can only do that if our citizens are in charge. A hallmark of my many years of service is that I'm accessible. I listen to what people have to say. Although I'm running opposed, unopposed, I ask for your support. Together, we'll assure Tawny Town Maine's her leadership role among Carroll County's municipalities. The best is yet to come.